Welcome back YouTube to Simple Tech News, the daily tech show where we talk about tech all around the world. Really quick, if you haven't subscribed to Simple Reviews yet, go ahead and do so. We make awesome tech videos every day. And also turn on notifications for our channel to get notified about all our latest videos the moment they come out. So a lot of launches today, especially in India, biggest one being the Samsung Galaxy S8. So both the Samsung Galaxy S8 and the S8 Plus were launched in India today. The phone will go on sale on May 5th, but pre-bookings will start today itself. The smartphone will be available from offline retailers and will also be available online via Flipkart and the Samsung India e-store. In India, the Galaxy S8 will be priced at 57,900 rupees and the S8 Plus will be priced at 64,900 rupees. Samsung will be launching dual SIM variants of both the S8 and the S8 Plus in India, where the Galaxy S8 Plus will be available in midnight black, coral blue, and maple gold colors, while the Galaxy S8 will be available in midnight black and maple gold colors. Another thing you might be aware of this already, but if you're not, both the S8 and the S8 Plus will have Samsung's very own Exynos 895 chipset instead of the Snapdragon 835. This shouldn't make any difference, they're basically the same. In fact, the Exynos 895 outperformed the Snapdragon 835 in a few benchmark tests. Moving on, Amazon has launched its Fire TV Stick in India today. The Fire TV Stick is a streaming device, a lot like the Google Chromecast, which fits into the HDMI port of your TV and kind of makes your normal TV into a smart TV where you can basically stream different apps and games onto the TV. The Fire Stick is priced at 3,999 rupees, but there are quite a few offers, especially for Prime members, so you can check that out. Next up, Xiaomi has launched their flagship Mi 6 smartphone in Beijing, China today. So three variants of this phone have been launched, one with 6 gigs of RAM and 64 GB storage, and the other with 6 gigs of RAM and 128 GB storage. Apart from this, Xiaomi launched a third variant called the Mi 6 Ceramic, which sports a four-side curved ceramic body and 18 karat gold-plated camera rims at the back. The three variants will go on sale on April 28th in China. In other news, India's largest online grocery delivery service, Big Basket, has begun talks with another online delivery service, Grofers, over a possible merger. Though the talks are still in the early stages, so not a lot is known about the deal. Google Earth gets a revamp. Google has brought in a whole new layout and added new features to Google Earth. So I've tried out these new features and they're really cool and informative. You should go and try them out. New features like 3D toggle, Voyager option, the I'm feeling lucky dice, and more are integrated into the new format. And now Google Earth is also available on web, but it works with only Google Chrome for now. But support for other browsers will also start soon, according to Google. Again, I'm not going to go over the details, but it's really cool. You should check it out. You can try out the new Google Earth on web through your Chrome browser right now. I'll leave the link in the, in the description. And you can also download it for free from Google Play, uh, Google Play Store for your Android smartphone. For iOS devices, you might have to wait a little longer. It should come soon though. And speaking of Google, YouTube has changed the policies of their mobile live streaming service. So earlier, only channels with over 10,000 subscribers could live stream for the mobile. And now YouTube is allowing any, any YouTube channel with over 1,000 subscribers to live stream from their mobile phones. Also new Instagram update now lets users make collections out of saved posts or bookmarks. So now when we save a post, we can create and name a new collection or add it to one you've already created. You can also create a collection out of your existing saved posts. And finally, new reports claim that the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 will sport a dual camera setup at the back, which is supposedly said to be better than the iPhone 7 Plus camera. The dual camera setup will consist of a 12 megapixel wide angle lens and a 13 megapixel telephoto lens. So that was all for now, guys. Thanks for watching. Comment below if you want to ask me any questions. And if you like watching this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Simple Reviews on YouTube for daily tech videos. Also follow us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. So that was all for now. Until next time.